Hey, what's up everyone? I believe it was Monday's video where I went through and I tryharded all of the Skyblock achievements. And not only did I not finish all of the achievements, that video also did surprisingly well. I mean, it was only like 30 views. But if you consider I don't get very many views on my other videos, that's actually quite a bit. So before we begin, I just wanted to mention that I actually did get four achievements. First, I got Excavator 5, getting mining level 25. Right now I'm running Lapis Minions, so this was bound to happen. The next achievement I unlocked was Harvester 5 for reaching farming level 25. And this one's actually an interesting enough story to talk about. So I spent, I think about two hours, maybe two and a half hours, getting 650,000 farming XP so that I could level up. But because I was going to make another episode of tryharding achievements, I decided to stop about 1,000 XP before I leveled up to farming 25. And that was about 30 minutes ago, so I didn't think that much of it. And then I went ahead and started preparing for this episode. The other two achievements I got off camera were Festive, Altruist, 3, and 4, where I had to give gifts to 50 different players. Right now I'm at 99, so that we can give one gift to one player. And I'm sure you can guess how I leveled up farming. Occasionally, gifts give XP. And because I had like 699,000 farming XP out of 700,000, I leveled up really quick. So that sucks, but at least I got the achievement. Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer. Unfortunately, when I was recording this section of the video, I didn't realize that my microphone was muted. So crying about it isn't really going to get me anywhere, and I still think that this is really good footage, so I'm going to try my best to explain what is going on. Also, if you hear any background noise, there's a pretty nasty thunderstorm going on right now. Something I learned from last video is that if I pre-prepare all of the materials that I need to craft the item, it'll be a lot easier. So here's my backpack and it has all the ingredients that I need. So the first achievement is Sea Monsters, obtain the Sea Creature Artifact. So first we craft the Talisman, and then we craft the Sea Creature Ring, and then we're gonna craft the Sea Creature Artifact, and there we go. Next up, Second Chance, consume the Saving Grace. Craft our Saving Grace, and then now we're gonna go to the end. We don't have any money on us, and we only have about 14 minutes left of potion effects, so let's go ahead and jump. Wee. Oh sweet, I was just promoted. Well that's a nice surprise. It's funny how I unlocked the second chance achievement and then immediately got promoted. Okay, well back to the point of the video, you can see that I still technically died even though I consumed the saving grace. That's kind of stupid, and I feel bad for Rage Train because that's how he lost the hardcore Skyblock series. Plus you still lose coins, which seems a little silly. So the next three achievements are secret achievements, and I have no idea what they are, and therefore I'm not going to be able to get them. Now, we can put a wood singularity on an aspect of the Jerry, but that's going to cost about 2.5 million coins, and that is 2.5 million coins that I would never get back. Therefore, I don't think I'll be doing this one. Storage forever. Craft a greater backpack. <sighs> Small. Medium. Large. Extra large. And there we go. Storage forever. Next up, Stubborn Gifter. Give 1,000 total gifts. So I set this achievement up in an interesting way that I think would be better for a video. Basically, I gave a total of 999 total gifts, and I also gave gifts to 99 different people. So this means that when I give one gift to one new person, I'll get both achievements at the exact same time. So here's our gift. Let's see, who's the lucky candidate? Oh, Teddy R24. No, 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 Teddy. Teddy, you gotta get over here. No, Teddy. Teddy, no. No, no, Teddy, where are you going? No, Teddy, I'm trying to give you stuff. No, where are you going? Why is this game so difficult? Oh, oh, there you go. Come on, open it. Come on, Teddy. Yes, Teddy, yay. And I got both of the achievements. I'm being serious. That took me like three minutes to give him one gift. Next up, Supreme Farmer. Wear a full set of farm armor. So fortunately for me, Enchanted Hay Bale prices crashed. They were at 45,000 coins, and now they're at 10,000 coins. So this is only going to cost me about 250,000. Boots, leggings, chest plate, and the helmet. Well, won't be needing these anymore. Jerry, you take good care of them for me. And full set. There we go. Supreme Farmer. I am now the most supreme of the farmers. Man, this set sucks. Jerry, listen, I'm gonna need those shoes back. Jerry, come on, my feet are cold. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Jerry. You're the best. Next up, the Prodigy. Complete through the campfire song at any score. Nope. Nope. I'm done with the harp. Nope. Okay, so this is either gonna take me- Oh my god, what are you doing? No, why? As I was saying, this is either gonna take me all day, 
or I'll complete it almost immediately. So, uh, as it turns out, you actually need to buy the personal harp from Melody. Well, at least this guy's playing some nice harp music in the background to hide the fact that I'm spending 600,000 coins on a piece of furniture. And he fell off the map. Oh god, what is this? Complete through the campfire song at any score. I just spent half an hour trying this song. You know what? It's fine. Now we can just complete this at any percent. And there's my achievement. And now this harp never gets to see the light of day again. We're gonna put it in the coal mines. Perfect. Kill a pigman with the pigman sword. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Mr. Pig, 1.2 million of your brothers died to forge this blade. Goodbye, Mr. Pig. Here, let's dispose of the body and give it to MC Hunter 5. To space we go. Use a launch pad on your private island. Well, I've actually been considering putting a launch pad on my island for quite a while now, and I totally forgot about it until I read through the achievement list. So I spend a lot of time walking down that path to get to my main building, and I feel like I could save quite a bit of time if I just put down a launch pad. So I'll definitely have to play around with the settings, but for now I think that's okay. Water blade. Kill a squid using the prismarine blade. And now we just have to catch a squid. Why does everyone else catch so many squids? I just want one. Yay. And now we stab it. That's gonna do it for this video, everyone. If the audio sounded weird, remember, my microphone was muted because I'm stupid, and I had to record all the audio while editing. So I'm sure it's gonna sound awkward at some times, but it's better than having a dead silent video. There are still a few achievements that I haven't completed yet, and I will probably do so later. So there might be a part three to this, but all the other achievements are really, really expensive. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps me out. If you have any video suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.